You've all done an excellent job building Spring City Splash. We still have one thing left, the Double Dragon Water Slide. Guests will climb a ladder up to the dragon's tail, then slide down the dragon's body and shoot out through its mouth into the splash pool. Dragons are the best. Hi, guys! <laughs> Don't mind us. It's my birthday, and I'm having a party here tomorrow morning! Did you hear that? We have to finish by tomorrow morning. Let's get to work. Yay! Let's see who's doing what job. Scoop to build the dragon slides. I need you to help build the support beams for the slides. Oh! See how this marker sticks out of the hole? Yeah. We need the hole to be deep enough so that the marker fits in completely. Perfect. Now, Scoop, you have to dig the trench as deep as this hole. Oh, the dragon slides! I can't see anything from here. Wendy sent us to help finish the support beams. Scoop, you coming? Yes. Okay, before we start, I have to check that the trench is deep enough. Hmm, let me check the plans again. Hmm, why don't we just start? Lofty, you lower in the beams and I'll hold them in place. What if the trench isn't deep enough? Oh, I'm sure it is. Uh, okay. It's in place and straight. Dizzy, pour the concrete. Let's get started. <gasps> Finished. Huh? Now the slide sections are here, I need Lofty to lower them onto the beams. Bob, Lofty, wait! The beams are going to collapse! Leo, get down, quick! What happened? It's all my fault. I don't think I dug the trench deep enough. I know support beams don't sound as exciting as dragons, but... They are just as important. But what are we going to do? I would work all night to fix this. And that's exactly what we're going to have to do, Scoop. So, team, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Space Robot Muck, get ready for hyperspace! Right behind you! You two look like you're having fun. We're playing Space Robots in hyperspace. Maybe you should think about getting some sleep. Oh, can we stay up a bit longer, Bob? <laughs> okay, but remember, you're having a sleepover because we've got a very early start. Thanks, Bob! I've made up the sofa bed for you, Leo, so don't be too late. Okay. What? What? It can't be morning already. Good morning, Leo. All ready for the big day. Morning, all. Nice to see you up bright and early. Leo, I need you to load those hooks and plates onto Muck, please. <sighs> yes, Bob. Today, we're finishing off the Spring City wheel. Yesterday, we built the A-frame and Dizzy cemented it in. So today, we have to build the wheel itself and raise it up so it can spin around. Then we have to fit the observation pods for people to sit in. The pods are fitted with hooks and metal plates, so we need you to bring them to the site. So let's get going. Last one, there's a wheelbarrow. I already feel like a wheelbarrow. Permission to rest for a bit? Ah, good idea. If we have a quick nap now, Ooh. we'll be full of energy later. So these are the observation pods and the curved steel tubes for the outside of the wheel are over there. So now all we're missing is Leo and Muck with the hooks and plates. Don't we need Leo and Muck if we're gonna get the job done before the Spring City Rockets get here? Let's press on anyway. One Spring City wheel coming up. Steady as she goes. 
Still no sign of Leo and Muck? No. I'll try calling them. <coughs> Hello? Leo, where are you? We need those hooks and metal plates right now. Sorry, Bob. We stopped for a bit and, um, drifted off to sleep. What? But don't worry. We'll be back with you just as soon as I wake Muck up. Bob, everyone, I'm so sorry for being late. Well, you're here now. So, Lofty, let's get these pods fitted. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Well, Space Captain Leo, are you going to take a turn on the wheel? <sighs> Tonight is the Spring City Halloween Festival. That means we only have a day to build everything. So, listen up, team. Over here, we'll build a barbecue where guests can get their food. At the back, we'll build a trick-or-treat trail. Behind you, we're going to build an entrance shaped like a pumpkin. And finally... And finally what? Floating above the party, there'll be a giant ghost decoration. Oh. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Oh. Ah, Lofty, there you are. I need you to collect the ghost decoration from Curtis. Are you sure it has to be me? Your crane is perfect for holding it. Well, uh, yes. Okay. The ghost is all ready to self-inflate. You pull a cord first, then it fills with air. So be careful not to knock the crate. Why? Sudden movement will trigger the cord. So the ghost could fill with air when you don't want it to. Here it goes. I'm scared already. This ghost delivered and quick! <laughs> Who's there? I'm not scared, I'm not scared, I'm not scared! <laughs> this entrance is gonna be cool! Lofty. I'm really sorry, Bob. I shouldn't have dropped the ghost like that, only I was scared. I've attached new wires so the ghost can stay here until we're ready for it. We'd better get fixing. Well, we're all finished. Huh. Oh, oh. Ha. Guys, hold on! There's a ghost! <laughs> we tricked Bob! <laughs> right. I better stop because I just scared myself. So, what's the job, Bob? We're here to help Mayor Madison with her Spring City Heroes plan. Every year, somebody new will be chosen to be a Spring City Hero. Wow! Each person who's chosen will get their own golden star with a picture of themselves inside it. Ooh! I wonder who she's going to choose. Uh, I wonder who I'm going to choose. Someone with a mustache? Oh, I'm just not sure. It's so hard to choose. Okay, everyone, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! This looks interesting. What is it, Bob? Mayor Madison is going to choose a Spring City hero, and their face will be inside that golden star for everyone to see. Wow! Yeah. So who's it gonna be then? 
I know who it should be. Betsy! Me? But, but, I'm just a boss. If a machine can be a Spring City hero, maybe it should be me. You, Scoop. Yes, me. Mayor Madison should be here any minute to see if everything's ready. That's great! My chance to show her why I should be the first Spring City hero. Mayor Madison, on behalf of the Spring City Rockets, we'd like to nominate Betsy as the first Spring City hero. Oh, thank you, Mila. Thanks to all of you, I'll add Betsy to the list. Hmm. Bob, would you like to add to the list? Mayor Madison! <laughs> Mayor Madison! Uh. Look at me! Look at all the things I can do! Scoop! Watch out! We just laid those! You cut through a power cable. Oh, Bob, I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry, Mayor Madison. This is terrible. No need to panic, Mayor. I'm sure I can sort this out in time. Wendy? There's a lot of damage. It won't be ready until this time tomorrow. If we want any lights and sound, we'll have to use the emergency generators. OK, everyone. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Testing, one, two. And now, to reveal who will be on our first golden star. <clears throat> Thank you. Bob the Fielder. Huh? Huh? Yay! Thank you, Mayor Madison. Thank you, everybody. Yay! 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 Wow. Lightning is brilliant, isn't it, Lofty? Um. But these autumn storms can be strong, wet, and windy, Scoop. So it's probably best to stay inside where it's cozy. That's right. In you go, Scoop. Oh. <sighs> that storm really made a mess. It's the Coast Guard. Hello? Bob. What would the Coast Guard want from Bob? The Fixum Lighthouse was struck by lightning during the storm. The lamp is broken and needs repairing. Oh, no. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. The lamp, lantern, casing and fuses need replacing. And the wiring has burnt out, too. What does that mean? We'll also have to lay a new power cable all the way from Fixum, which means digging up the old one. This is the best job ever! OK, that's the new cable connected to the lighthouse. Great. So now you can start filling in the trench, Scoop. Oh, yes! Oh, too cool. If I finish this quickly, I can watch the lightning. Uh-oh! Everything's fine here. There must be a problem on shore. The tide's in now. We're cut off. But I have to get back, Bob. It's the only way to get the lighthouse working before the storm arrives. Leo? Bob? Someone will have to get us by boat. Dad! Dad! Leo? Can you rescue Bob and Wendy? They're stranded in the lighthouse. I haven't fixed the boat yet, Leo. And now the electricity's gone down, so I can't see properly. My lights are bright. That's brilliant! Ah, good job, team. Now, let's head home. Yeah, to stay inside. That is perfect, Scoop. Oh, Chef Tatty's Play Cafe is going to be a huge success. I certainly hope so, Wendy. 
It will be all finished in time for my party, won't it, Bob? Well, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! It all looks splendid. Will there be music at the party tomorrow? I'll put on a CD for everyone to dance to. You need a proper DJ. What's a DJ, Wendy? Someone who's in charge of the music. And the really good DJs create mashups, like mashed potatoes. A mashup is when you mix two songs together, like this. Sing a bit of your favorite song, Chef. Oh, okay. Um, Oh, I make the best spaghetti! Here's a recording I made of Wendy and my dad rehearsing their band last night. My phone can mix together Chef singing and Wendy's playing to make this mashup. Oh, I make the best spaghetti! Oh, that's amazing! Could you make some mashups just like that for the party, Leo? Yes, I'd love to. You're on. Fantastic. But we need to get back to work. The party's tomorrow. And I don't have much time to make all those mashups for Chef Taddy. Why don't you leave that till later? What if I tried? Have you finished Chef's color samples, Leo? Sorry, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Four colors for Chef to choose from. Okay. <gasps> Whoa! How on earth did you do that? I had this great idea for a mashup. I must have stepped in paint without realizing. I know you're excited about doing the music for the party, Leo, but there's still work to do. Sorry, Bob. <gasps> what is that? I thought it looked like dancing footprints. I love it. You're a genius, Leo. I want more footprints everywhere. Wendy and your dad are amazing. Oh, thank you, Muck. You've given me a brilliant idea. Will you be our lead singer, Chef? Hey, I've always wanted to be a rock star. Oh, I make the best spaghetti.